Damn. Yeah, that. Damn. See how hard he slammed that into that thing? Highly. J Rock. J -Rock. Hands come back. What is happening in 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world? That's right, baby. J-Rock is here, and we're about to check out some more gameplay from Sifu, a uh, game that's definitely a day one for me. Definitely gonna be picking this up as soon as it drops, February the eighth. I think that's the early edition. If you buy the deluxe, I'm getting the deluxe one. It's crazy because in February you got. Uh, Dying Light that drops on the 4th, if I'm not mistaken. Then this literally drops four days later. Dying Light drops on Friday. This early access for the Deluxe Edition is on Monday. Then maybe a week after that, you got Forbidden uh, Horizon, Forbidden West, and then Elden Ring, like right around that time. This is going to be a hell of a month for games, uh, and I'm going to play all of them. Rest assured, I'm going to get all of them. But with that being said, let's waste some more time. Let's get right into this game play. Hello everyone, my name is Marcus Stewart and welcome to a new episode of New Gameplay Today. We are taking a look at Sifu, a really cool martial arts action game as you can see there. And uh, today, I am not on the sticks because that is my guest one, Alex Stadnik. Hello, sir. Hello! I am happy to report in the preview build, Sifu, very fun. It happy looks fun. fun. Yeah. If not as much fun for the guy you just, like, beat the crap out of. Oh, no, he had a bad time, and so his friends are going to as well. Um, this is a this is a bizarre, awesome thing. Uh, you know, I think if you've seen huh. any of the, the... I believe it was Sony that, that debuted the trailer for this, correct? The, at some I point this year? I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, sure, yeah. But it was, like Marcus said, like the, the kung fu action game here um, that every time you die, you age. Um, and I was like, okay, interesting concept in on paper, but like, how does that actually play? Um, I'm happy to report this game plays exceedingly well. Uh, the combat is incredibly smooth and very satisfying. Good uh, to know, good to know. And very Woo! difficult, I, sh I should add as well. We can talk about it a little bit. Uh, brutal, if you can't uh, tell. Um, and it uses the aging and leveling mechanic in, in interesting ways here. Um, Marcus, are you, I don't know. Are you hyped for this game? Are you interested in this? I am. Uh, and I wanted to ask you, so uh, this Damn. is developed by Woo! Tom Clapp, who uh, previously made a game called Absolver. Mm -hmm. uh, which, uh, did you play Absolver? Alex? I, I did not. Slow clap. Uh, this is my introduction to slow clap. Damn! Okay. Uh, I, I, got to get, I got to get. I got to get on this. Yeah. I played Absolver, which has a very similar uh, fighting mechanic. Like Sifu pretty much builds upon what that game is doing because it was pretty much just an open world fighting game. Okay. Uh, and you know it was okay. But, like, I wonder the if they got the Bruce Lee noise in it. Wow! So for the Liu Kang on. Back into a more single player focused thing, but like, Woo! polishing the Woo! fighting. Uh, sounds amazing to me, and I'm glad to hear that it is. Yeah. Um, let me ask you about the aging. So, how, how it's every time you die, you age. Is it one year exactly, or how how many years jump? So, I that was my worry when I first jumped in the game. I was like, oh, you know, or well, it was going to give me a lot of lives, but I was like, what's well, the trade off there? And so, the first one is you age to 21, and you can see here I have yeah. I'm at a rewards screen, and I could pick. I, we went by too quickly, but I could pick a boost depending on like where my age was at type of mm. thing um but so but then it starts to to jump as you as you start to die more you start to like get older quicker yeah so like you can jump to like 26 29 then like 33 30, you know it keeps going up um and you're when, 20 years old when you start the game correct at least okay. in this this demo chunk so i know we're already a couple of minutes into this but setting the scene here you know this is uh, a demo that we got from Slow Clap. Um, and Can I get a demo, please? Is like a little bit into the and thank you. The first chapter, some of the tutorial stuff. So it's like kind of wanting to give you a slice of like what this is gonna feel like when you're past those those early hours, right? So there's up. I know there's they um, there are upgrades and stuff. I didn't get really a chance to explore because of my slice of this. Um, but so you know there are there's pros and cons to dying, right? As you die and get older, is that guy Super Saiyan? What's going on? <laughs> it looks like it. So I tried to do a takedown of him, 
and he countered it. I'm not sure exactly if I'm not sure if it's randomized or if it uh, just depends on the enemy. But sometimes freaking Fei Long, ain't he from Street Fighter? Cinematic, like a uh, couple of uh, punches and stuff like that. They'll block it and basically go Super Saiyan, and uh, I die to them most of the time here. Like this, this makes me so mad here. Ready? Okay. And, uh -oh. Ah. Oh no, he swept oh, the leg. That was, okay. Sweep the oh, leg. I mean, how can you beat him? You're not. You're not the legendary. Do you have a problem with that? Oh, he got him. So, got him. I was, I was like, is he on fire and not realizing it? But okay, he's just yeah. super sandwich. Fun fact, I guess that's how you do it. Yeah. You, you block someone's attack and poof. Yeah, and they're gone. So the interesting thing about the skill tree that you just saw there is you saw it kind of uh, juxtaposed against uh, the, the the amulets. Uh, the or you know the coins are. Or, Rise uh, from your death. Those are like. Once you break one, you age to a certain level where you lose health but gain gain damage. Okay. And, and then, uh, but once that once that piece is gone, you can't do those upgrades anymore. So like I've been trying. Ooh, to save nice. Oh, as, as I kill people, you see gotta have eyes upgrade. in the back of your head on the XP, side. And I can spend XP on different moves and buffs. But at least in the section I played, if like if I died too many times. And that that piece of the upgrade tree is gone to me. I can't upgrade. So, hmm. all right. Uh, and is there a narrative reason for the aging mechanic? Do you know what the story is exactly? I do not. This the the demo was more of a showcase on uh, the gameplay more than the the, the story itself. He has a, this amulet that allows him to, to like come back from from dying or like but then he ages and and so i i guess no i i'm not exactly sure how that all fits in but there's some myth, mythical reason behind it my name is johnny Vo. i've joined november 2019 i was a machinist we're doing a north of fifty nine thousand dollars a month i'm Dominic taylor okay and you saw uh with your XP, you're spending it on new stuff. Uh, have you gotten a sense of the move list? Because Absolver had a pretty substantial hey, AI list just sitting there chilling, kind of or unless he ain't one of the fighters. And like you could basically, you could essentially like string or create your own combos. Have you gotten a sense Woo! of that in this game? They they kicked me off with some combos for sure, but I, I didn't get a sense of the like customizational Woo! nature of it. Uh, yeah, the big boys uh, hurt, um, but I just unveiled my uh, used my uh, it looks like L two. My like special move. Damn. Uh, that makes these guys a lot easier in some of the harder enemies coming up here. Oh, nice. um, Is that like a good move for just big people in general? <laughs> you, you oh, I, I thought she was Marcus just somebody at the club killing. Down, yeah. Okay, I'll test that if I see you. <laughs> I'm going to hug you at E3. Like, Marcus, we're meeting a person in public, and then <laughs> just sweep the damn leg. Just like, stay, like, tighten up. Stay yeah. on guard. <laughs> okay. Oh, you got a weapon there. So you, you look like you broke that. Uh, that piece of furniture and you picked up a stick from it yeah all right so, so it disappeared uh, when you uh, went through it and the then reappeared okay here, but i don't know if that's um, a bug or that's you know, just they intention this game you need but at least you get to keep the stick I've, when you I've walk through the door uh, come here uh, bats donatello uh, on that some uh, punk some wooden like. planks and sticks like that um beer bottles which come in very handy like you can see a bat Ooh. right there um those help you out a ton and uh you know using your not only the the tools in the environment like I, I tried to there and she bought and died got um, him no, right. sweet. That, that is your weakness the leg sweep sweep For the leg it is um um uh you know do you have a problem with not that only from a weapon standpoint but a kind of no enemy sense, eh? organizational point is very important too because when you get surrounded no you are like screwed you are in trouble um, right cobra kai's back check um, out my reaction to cobra you know, kai trailer but right now I'm on people's desks, page. The chairs, that kind of stuff, to kind of segment the the enemies and kind of take them on in a little bit more manageable way. So there's kind of like con, like contextual interactions with the environment. Like if you're near, like damn, here, yeah, you're by that. Damn, you know how hard he slammed that into that thing. Slam him into it. Uh huh. And and I think this game is excelling, at least in the preview stage that I played. Right, it is excelling at making this feel like a lived-in environment in that way because the animations are so great when it comes to, you know... Damn! Hitting someone's head, yeah. Oh, Woo! Do anything. Yeah! Oh, oh yeah. no! <laughs> I just, I played this demo enough to know who is friend and who is pro. <laughs> you just so fighting everybody. Everybody can get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we 
we had families. <laughs> um, but, uh, so the strong sweep was definitely my favorite that I just used there. But yeah, I just, the animation work is so good and the fluidity yeah. of the, the combat and I'm so taken with it. I, this went the camera too, the way it kind of zooms in there. It's got a nice, uh, you know, to use a cliche term, a nice a visceral Ooh. feel to it. Yes, very good, sir. Um, I, this went from just being like a passing, like, oh, this could be fun, uh, to being like, oh, this is this is day one. I want to play the like the full experience. Um, oh, yeah. oh yeah, absolutely. It's, ha it's happened it again. Yep. Oh. I wish I they happened. didn't have bandanas. I want to see their hair. <laughs> yeah right. That'll Ghost ride up in his punk some of them. Oh no! Got him so, again. If you caught it there, but he kicked me with it, his his leg. Uh, yeah, yeah, like orange. hot legs. You can't block those, at least in my experience. Um, I could, I could be wrong, but because there's they long up in this punk some right? you, It's more advantageous to definitely um try to dodge those. Um, because you can't parry or excuse me, you can't parry those. Um, like you can some of the more rise from your death. Okay, that's kind of a a cooler way to kind of signal an unblockable attack. Like normally in most games, it'll be like an indicator over their head, right. like a red indicator, like to have them basically have glowing limbs. Yeah, it's pretty cool and different. Mm. Well, and you you asked me earlier about contextual environment too. Like using the environment is huge in this because oh god, the style is so cool. And it's sorry. Oh, I just, what is so? Oh. I like it's. There's a couple of very stylized moments right where you finish a fight and and this pops. Uh, you know, a different color scheme or something pops up and it is so cool but okay okay interesting and uh, into furniture and stuff does extra damage so it's really you really want to try to corner people and really like you come for that in a corner so um this is one of the boss fights here or i guess uh, the main fight of the demo that we have here you're gonna talk your way out of this it looks like well no i tried to, to. try to give him a shot you know no one has to get hurt yeah, well, and then this guy chose violence, so I was like, all right, here we go. Bang. There it is, your finisher. Well, and, and why that's important, too, is, like, nice combo, that, the, the, the leg sweep there. When Damn! You throw him, uh, when you throw him, huh. or so you Finish throw him, him. To the ground, beat him on the ground, and then keep doing damage when they get up. It's kind of overpowered, so, um, but I struggled with that fight mightily beforehand. Uh, but I was going to ask, like, he wasn't much of a boss. <laughs> no. made short work of him. I, I, I'm happy that I could give you good gameplay here, uh, viewers. <laughs> this definitely, like, this took me time to get used to the the systems, right? That you know, if you've played a melee fighting game before, you're gonna know, you know, the the ins and outs to a certain extent. But like, it is definitely, it is hard. Like, and and you have to. It, this is a couple of times where I really had to learn like tells and that kind of stuff. So. Um, but well worth it because this is a very satisfying experience that I'm very happy I got to play. Yeah, I think you just beat up a Naruto fan with his Akatsuki room. Damn! <laughs> Someone has to take the, the Naruto fans down a little bit, man. They got Fortnite now, you know. It's look, at, just, look like you got about 50 yeah. them lives. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and did you get a sense of, um, is there anything else that you're doing in this game? Or is it just kind of you're going from room to room just kicking the tar out of people? I think once we start to know the story a little bit more, I'll be able to, you know, there'll, there'll be some, some method to the madness, but for this demo purposes, it was just, you know, room to room showing off how the enemies interact, how they, you know, uh, engage with the environment, and how good it feels to uh, kick them around in. Okay. Oh, man, I want to play this now, just watching you. It's like, know, right? getting the same urge of, like, I want to do martial arts. When You, you know when you watch a good martial arts movie? Right? You know, you're like, I just want to start kicking everything around me. Like, I feel like I'm going to sign up for classes, yep. like, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you don't, because yeah. it wears off. Yeah. But, it, yeah, I'm getting that similar high of, like, well, I just want to get in there and start just throwing some punches. Yeah. Yeah, and you right? be able to on February 8th. Which is two weeks earlier than it was supposed to come out. Wow, and I believe there's early access for like the deluxe edition, but you'll have to go check that out. Yep, it is. All right, getting well, it. Well, I think that's a great look at Sifu. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me, Alex. And yeah, be sure to subscribe to Game Informer's YouTube channel if you want more awesome content like this, other episodes, and new gameplay today. And be sure to visit GameInformer.com for some of the best video game news in the industry. Bye, bye, guys. Bye. Well, J Rock says this. Ain't nothing, much, ain't nothing else ah, that needs to be said. This is the day one. Early access once it drops. J Rock is getting it. Gonna be on it all night.
uh because i be on it all day day scrape up pimp if you want jay you know where i'm going with that anyway um yeah so and nothing else need to be said i'm getting it. period point blank bottom line the end uh but i do got a question though before i go uh no rhyme intended on that line um am i the only one that when i'm playing a video game that i'll have a movie on in the background similar to the game i'm playing like if i'm playing spider-man i have a spider-man movie on or if i'm playing avengers i'll have an avengers or if i'm playing a fighting game i have a fighting movie on and am i the only one that does that yeah okay all right just making sure i want i want to be the only one all right but uh yeah if you do that too or not let me know all right post comments down below let your rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video no rhyme intended on that line if you enjoyed the great one's reaction hit that like button subscribe and share be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified thank you for joining j-rock until next time mamba gg and wakanda forever if you smell what j-rock is cooking